Discover the fascinating results of lion-leopard crossbreeding, understand why polar and grizzly bears are increasingly found together, and take a glimpse at today's most unusual sheep-goat hybrids in this episode. We'll explore astonishing hybrid animals that appear out of this world, with special attention to extraordinary feline hybrids like the Liger and Ligar. Let's jump right in and see these incredible creatures. Sabroid, want to know what an incompletely colored zebra looks like? Here it is, but what happened to its coloring? Maybe there was some kind of mutation. Actually, it's not really a zebra, but a zebra horse hybrid, a zebroid. Zebroids can be a cross between a zebra and any member of the horse family either a domestic horse or a donkey. Physically, zebroids are similar to zebras as for the coloring. It's unpredictable, and each time, it turns out unexpected. Sometimes the stripes may only be on the zebroid's head, and sometimes almost the entire torso. Zebroids, like other horse family hybrids, are bred for practical use as riding and pack animals. In Africa, they have advantages over horses and donkeys because they're resistant to sets fly bites and are more trainable than zebras. By the way, the hybrid itself is not so new. Zebroids have existed for quite a long time and were mentioned back in Darwin's notes. The half-horse, half-zebra looks very cool, but there are even cooler hybrid animals that seem to have come to us from another planet. Stay tuned to see the most unusual aquarium fish Learn all the details of bear hybrids and see an interesting sheep-goat hybrid that will definitely surprise you. Let's move on. Leopond, another beautiful and very unusual hybrid from the world of the feline family, is the Leopond. It looks as if it appeared on our planet by accident. After all, it's not easy to imagine a lion with leopard spots in nature, is it? Yes, the Leopond is a hybrid of a male leopard and a female lioness. For the most part, the hybrid's appearance resembles that of a lion, largely due to the fact that the leopon's head is like a lion's. There's also a tassel of fur on the tail like a lion's, but all other parts of the body are inherited from a leopard. They're larger than leopards, but smaller than lions. Male leopons can have a mane about 20 centimeters long, but it's quite rare, and they're only found in captivity. The Ligar this beauty is a hybrid of a male lion and a female jaguar. The most beautiful ligars have melanistic black coloring, by the way. Ligars with this coloration are the most numerous. They slightly resemble black cougars, but look even cooler. Meanwhile, anatomically, the ligar is similar to the African lion. Their face is grayish and kind of puffy, which makes their appearance even more unusual. One of the most unusual individuals of this hybrid is a brownish-reddish ligar, and one such animal can be found in the Walter Rothschild Zoological Museum in Hertfordshire, England. It has a reddish lion's coloration and a compact jaguar physique. It has dark rosette spots on its coat like a jaguar, only less prominent. Blood Parrot Without knowing the details, you will never guess what the blood parrot is. It's not a species of parrot at all and not even a species of bird. Moreover, this animal doesn't live on land at all. The blood parrot, otherwise known as the blood parrot cichlid, is a very unusual species of aquarium fish that was artificially bred. In general, the blood parrot is a hybrid of different species of cichlids, a genus of freshwater fish. But scientists give more precise details. The blood parrot, they say, is a hybrid between the male Midas, endemic to Costa Rica and Nicaragua, and the female gold severum cichlid. At least the original individual was the result of just such a mix. The blood parrot looks very unusual, as if it's not from our world. After all, you can hardly find something like this in the world's oceans. These bright fish can reach 25 centimeters in length and have various anatomical deformities, including a small curved mouth that almost doesn't close, making it difficult to feed the fish. Because of this, there's disagreement about the morality of breeding these fish, but there's no disagreement about the blood parrot being a great pet for beginners and experienced aquarists alike. Hybrid Iguana The hybrid iguana is one of the most unusual animals I've ever seen. It's the true genetic wonder of the Galapagos Islands. 
This animal is a hybrid of a male marine iguana and a female land iguana. Of course, the singularity of this creature first of all manifests itself in its coloring. Hybrid iguanas are dark with white speckles or with spot stripes near their heads, while marine iguanas are all black and land iguanas are reddish yellow. Hybrid individuals have combined the best of their parents. For example, marine iguanas have sharp claws for grasping on rocks, while land iguanas have no claws and cannot climb up the prickly pears, the fruits of which they eat. They have to wait for the fruit to fall down by itself. However, hybrid iguanas have sharp claws and can easily climb on prickly pears also. They can eat underwater algae. It turns out that hybrids can live both on land and in seawater. According to scientists, the ability to feed in water and generally spend most of their time in water makes the hybrid iguana the only extant marine reptile. However, many experts argue with this claim. Pisley. Some animal hybrids are the result of the work of scientists who purposely breed new species. Some hybrids, on the other hand, are natural ones. Pisley is a perfect example. It might be hard to figure out what kind of animal this is from the name alone, so I won't keep you waiting. Pisley is an unusual hybrid of polar bears and grizzly bears. The white-brown hybrid is the result of climate change. Over the past few years, the Arctic glaciers have been melting rapidly, so polar bears have had to migrate lower and deeper into North America. Grizzly bears, on the other hand, are heading slightly north due to sprawling vegetation and human activity. As a result, grizzly bears and polar bears begin to actively neighbor and make contact. At some point, the consequence of such contact becomes the birth of a pizzly bear. Scientists say that the species are very similar genetically, so the male grizzly bear can be attractive to female polar bears. As for pizzly bears, they're very prolific and fully adapted to wildlife. In the wild, they're usually found in the forests of Alaska. Goat sheep. The next hybrid has many names, geep, shoat, or basil. You can call it anything you want, but the point stands. It is an unusual sheep-goat hybrid. For the first time, the crossing between a ram and a goat was registered in 2000 in Botswana. The animals were simply kept together, so the crossing was random. A goat has 60 chromosomes, and a sheep has 54, so their offspring are usually stillborn. However, the surviving male hybrid was able to inherit traits from both its parents at once. It had long hair like a sheep and goat legs. Analysis showed that the individual had 57 chromosomes, which is the average of the number of chromosomes of its parents. Although the hybrid was infertile, it had an increased libido. When this became a problem, it was sterilized. Interestingly, cases of obtaining such a hybrid were noted not only in Botswana, but also in New Zealand, the USA, Germany, Chittle, France, Ireland, and Russia. Moreover, hybrids born in different countries could differ from each other. Some, for example, had no horns, while others had large and pronounced horns. So, so, the next unusual animal in this episode is a zo. This is what the combination of domestic cattle and the yak looks like. A black cow with large horns and a ponytail is quite an alien combination, in my opinion. It's found in Mongolia and less commonly in Nepal and Tibet, where it's used in agriculture. Zo is larger than the yak, but its wool is somewhat shorter like the yak. Zoos are noted for their endurance and its adaptability to high altitude pastures. Zo bulls have a very fierce temperament, and therefore, they're often used as plow cattle for hauling weights. These hybrids are able to do their job very well. One zo can carry up to 600 kilograms of weight, so that you can understand me better the weight of Zo itself is about 300 to 400 kilograms. Zo lives up to 36 years and gives birth to a calf annually. During its life, it gives nine more calves than a usual cow, which is its big advantage. Zo produces 5,400 liters of milk per year by comparison. The average milk yield of full-grown cows on local farms is 4,500 liters also a lot of meat and fur of particular strength can be obtained from a zoo. Blue Frost. What's this? 
Is it a fat raccoon that decided to change its appearance? Or is it a fox that decided to become a raccoon but interrupted the procedure halfway through? Okay, seriously, it's a blue frost, a hybrid between a silver fox and a polar fox. Distantly, these creatures do resemble raccoons but still look more like a fox and there's no wonder. The fur of the hybrids is similar to the color of silver foxes, but their muzzle and body resemble those of a polar fox. Blue frosts are quite small. Their fur is thinner than that of the common fox, but at the same time, it's thicker. In addition, their fur is short-haired. I do not focus on fur for nothing, as blue frosts were specially bred to sew beautiful and high-quality coats from their skins and fur. The products turn out to be practical and comfortable because the fur of the blue frost combines such qualities and advantages as optimal pile length, lightness, and great heat saving properties. That's all guys. Which hybrid from this video surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.